everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Jumakel Detala is a popular Yoruba Nollywood actress. She won the African Magic Vials Choice Awards for Best Indigenous Act Yoruba in the year 2016. And in 2017, she also won the award for Best Indigenous Language TV Series slash Movies for the production Somewhere in the Dark, alongside Abiodu Jima. After all those awards, and her artist fee also became more encouraging. That was also the first time that anyone would get a nomination in that category for two consecutive years. She was also the youngest person to have won in that category. How was this award-winning actress early life? She grew up in a family that had a very strict father and a religious mother. There were mostly girls in the house, but they were trained to survive in a man's world. Her father wanted all of them to be professionals, such as engineers, doctors, financial managers, among others. To back up that cliche that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Their parents loved all their children, but she was treated extra special because Jumoke was the last child. For education, she attended a Batinoja Primary School in Lagos State for her primary education. She also went to Abelkuta Girls Grammar School in Abelkuta for her post-elementary education and she obtained a bachelor's degree in computer science from Ajayi Crowder University in Oyo State. She later proceeded to the Federal University of Agriculture in Abelkuta where she backed a master's degree in computer science. So how exactly did Jumoke venture into acting? Jumoke read from being a kid secretly nursed that desire of becoming an actress. But because she knew that her father wanted to make a statement with his girl's professional achievements, acting or entertainment generally was not what he wanted for his children at that time. He was one of those African parents who believed that acting and singing were for unserious people or those who couldn't succeed in challenging careers like medicine and law. Little did they know that acting is also challenging and also requires discipline. So what was her parents' reaction? Jumoke kept his secret when she started, but then decided to tell her mother at some point she reluctantly accepted and blessed her. She also confessed to her father on his sick bed. Surprisingly, he said he knew all along. He had seen her on TV and confessed that he was proud of her. Strangely, seeing his name or Detola appearing on TV screens gave him a feeling he couldn't explain. He said he saw Jumoke at that moment in a different light. So he blessed her before he passed them. When exactly did Jumoke have a breakthrough in the industry? The big break came for Jumoke when Abiodun Jimo, a director and producer, discovered and gave her her first lead role in a TV series that aired on African Magic. He later became a manager and mentor. Also in time, Jumoke became an associate producer and now she's a well-groomed producer. On what has been her best role so far? For Jumoke, she's of the opinion that you're as good as your last efforts, so she cannot categorically say that any role is her best. For now, she will say that Somewhere in the Dark, a psycho thriller horror movie, has been her most challenging so far. She co starred with Gabriel Afolayo, who acted as her dead husband, whom she refused to release his corpse for burial because she couldn't accept the fact that he was dead. Jumoke revealed some details about this movie in her words. I recall that a scene in the movie required reincarnation, so spiritualists were behind the cameras reciting cryptic chants, and our heads kept swelling to the point that we felt it was going to burst open. It was a spiritual, almost occultic experience, and I had sleepless nights for weeks after the shoots. As a matter of fact, I had to undergo some spiritual cleansing. Also, on a personal life, what is Jumoke's kind of man? She says it is the man who will love her like a mother. And how soon should fans be waiting to hear the wedding bell ring? She says God's time is the best and they can't miss it when it is time. Also, Jumoke is aquaphobia. She's afraid of sea pool and the river. And she also does not like parties. How does this Yoruba award-winning actress relax? So on one, she enjoys reading and sightseeing. What is fashion to Jumoke? She thinks she's a fashionable person and she believes that her style is her image and images everything. On the one thing she can never leave the house without, that is her phone. 
Also, a watch you can never be caught dead wearing. That would be the fabric called Akbochi. She had this to say on social media influence. In her words, I'm an advocate of don't let what you see on social media influence your life. You cannot tell what goes on in the lives of people. So don't set a standard for yourself based on what you see. Basically, I'm just being myself and I try to take my private life off social media. It's mostly my works that I put out there. If I have been able to influence people positively, that makes me feel good. But I do not live my life because I want people to feel attracted to the kind of life that I live. I'm just being myself. I'm not pushed to do the things because I want people to see me as a role model. Even the movies I make, I want it to influence society and change their mindset positively on a particular issue. Although I don't have anything to hide, but my private life is different from the public one, she said. What stands Jumoke out from other actors? She says, it is being her, being me, being real. I'm confident and on top of my game. The grace of God is also paramount. And I thank God for how far he has brought me in the industry, she said. On Jumoke's assessment of the industry, she says, it is improving rapidly. But it needs government policies to help out on some crucial issues. This is about the only country in the world where foreign superpowers or telenovelas Will be aired on its national television stations at prime time at the detriment of local content. These and many other problems are affecting the income and growth of the industry. Also, on rivalry in the industry, she had this to say healthy rivalry is good in sports, entertainment, business, and every other thing we do because it could be a great motivational tool towards being better. However, once it goes negative, that is bad. I don't know about fake love, but I strictly follow the Yuba philosophy that says, Enya felamo, oh many to feni. You only know who you love, not who loves you. On our opinion, or what could be the cause of fake love in the industry, this multiple AMVCA winner said, Most attitudes in adults are spillovers from home training. I may not be able to change that easily. However, a good structure in the industry will curb a lot of misdemeanors. Jimoke also maintains that she believes relationship between two entertainers could work. She said, I believe that relationships in the entertainment industry can work. Let's start from the newest, Simi and Adekunle, to the oldest, Joker Silva and Ulu Jacobs. And contrary to what many people would think, that this actress' favorite part of her body would be her boobs, as she's sufficiently endowed. However, Jumoke Odetola said the best part of her body is her brain. Also, on how she had the confidence to be an actress, she revealed that it wasn't something that she was set out to do at the beginning. She only nurtured it secretly when she was growing up. She wasn't bold enough to tell anyone. She wasn't bold enough to speak about it to any of her family members. However, her sister caught her in the act one day and Jumoke didn't know she was right behind her. Her sister was watching her and she was overwhelmed. That was how it all started. It was her sister that encouraged her to chase her dreams. We have come to the end of this episode on this fantastic Urban Hollywood actress, Jumoke Odetola. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.